Hey everyone, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, so for this discussion post this week, um, the first question is, which podcast did you choose first and what attracted you to that topic? So the first podcast that I picked was episode 160, I believe, um, and the title of it being um, Best of How to Plan a Profitable Year. So what attracted me to this particular podcast was just um, you know, me personally, I'm not a very good planner of anything. So, um, you know, I definitely think that before I, you know, finish school and get out into the real world, I need to really, um, you know, kind of hone in on my skills of, you know, preparing and, you know, making a plan and, you know, setting goals and, you know, really figuring out where, where and how I want to be and how I'm going to get from point A to point B in terms of my business, in terms of, you know, anything. So that's kind of why I picked this particular topic. Um, how much did you know about the topic before you picked it? I didn't really know much about the topic before I picked it, just because, um, and you know, that's basically the reason why I picked it, because I didn't know much about it. So hopefully I was looking for some insight um, from Karen and Kathleen on how to you know, plan certain things for my business. Um, what one piece of advice did you hear that resonated with you the most and why? Um, so one thing that I really liked from the podcast was basically the use of what they called uh, two cornerstones. So the first cornerstone being a snapshot, which, which is a, a review from your past year. You know, you look at your numbers, you look at, you know, how you did as a business, what you know, what you need to do to improve um, and, you know, things along those lines. Um, and that being one cornerstone, then the other cornerstone is um, you basically just look at the next year ahead and think, you know, where do I want to be at the end of this year? So using those two brackets, basically, it kind of gives you a good, you know, plane to to lie down your your goals and, you know, the actions that you need to take to achieve those goals to get where you want to be. So I liked how they really, you know, said that, you know, to get better at the future, you have to, you know, analyze and observe your past. So, you know, using the snapshot, which is basically, like I said, the review of the past year, um, using that to kind of determine, you know, your next steps for your business. I thought that was really insightful to me. Um, so that was definitely one piece of advice that I really liked from them. Um, and question number four, give us an example of how you can incorporate this information into building a future business for you. So um, I don't really, I don't really see myself being, you know, a health coach uh, after after school. Um, right now, if I if I, you know, according to my plan, which you know may change, but I want to be a chiropractor. So a, a chiropractor is, you know, someone who still might have their own practice and their own business. So you know, this kind of stuff still applies to me. But um, so how I can incorporate this information into my, you know, building a future business would just be. You know, like, you know, like they were saying, use, you know, the snapshot of, you know, where you currently are and what, you know, you currently do well and don't do well to kind of mold how you want your future to look. So, you know, using that, you can, like I said, lay down your thoughts and your goals and the actions that need to be taken to achieve those goals to get where you want to be. So that is definitely, um, that's definitely the information that I, that I personally uh, took from this podcast. And, you know, that's basically how I plan to, you know, incorporate it into my future business. So the second podcast that I watched was, um, it was episode 159 and the title of it was, Why Are We Tweaking Our Social Media Strategy? So I was attracted to this topic because, um, you know, as a future, you know, business owner or owner of my own, you know, practice, um, I think that social media is huge, especially for marketing to the um, clientele that I would like to attract as a chiropractor one day. So, um, you know, and that includes, you know, athletes of high school level, you know, collegiate level, you know, really just any athletes, you know, athletics is my, is my passion. Sports is my passion. And, you know, that's why I want to get into chiropractic so I can, so I can help athletes, you know, recover from injury or prevent injury just like they helped me recover and prevent injury whenever I was, you know, in high school and, you know, even today. So that's what really attracted me to this topic. Um, 
how much did you know about the topic before you picked it? Obviously, um, I know a good bit about social media just because, you know, that's, you know, the generation that I've, that I've grown up in. But as far as using it to promote my business, not, not a lot. So as someone who wants to use social media, you know, to kind of promote their own brand, I was really attracted to this, uh, to this podcast, just, you know, simply because of that fact. But, um, you know, as far as, as far as using social media to promote a business, I don't really know much about it. So that's, you know, kind of the reason why I picked it. Um, what one piece of advice did you hear that, res that resonated with you most and why? So in the podcast, they used a reference and the reference was social media marketing industry report. So they talked about the industry report and, you know, kind of the numbers and figures of, you know, what social medias were, were hot for business marketing right now and what basically wasn't. So in the episode, they talked about how Facebook was still the number one, um, you know, uh, marketing social media out there. Um, but they did say that it's on the decline. So, which I mean, it kind of makes sense because Facebook is an older social media and, you know, with Instagram and Twitter and YouTube, Snapchat, all that, you know, all that kind of stuff coming out um, and being more recent and being a little bit more relevant, um, you know, that was not surprising, but interesting to me that Facebook was still the number one, um, you know, marketing strategy, social media wise. But, um, you know, regardless of that, they said that um, you know, just as much as, you know, Facebook is still dominant, it's on the decline. So Instagram is, um, Instagram is used by 70% of marketers is what they said in the video or, uh, the podcast rather. Um, and that 94% of marketers still use Facebook. But like I said, you know, Facebook is kind of on its way out in terms of, um, in terms of marketing. So that's one, you know, kind of piece of information that really, you know, resonated with me. Also, they said, which kind of shocked me because, you know, as, you know, as fast as TikTok has blown up, you know, and, you know, I know, I know some certain brands that use TikTok to really market their product. They said that less than 5% of marketers are using TikTok to, you know, market their brand, which is, you know, interesting to me, uh, kind of surprising in a way, but at the same time, not really just because, you know, TikTok isn't, taken as seriously by marketers. I mean, I, I would personally think that. So that's why, uh, you know, that was kind of interesting to me. Um, so give us an example of how you can incorporate this information into building a future business for you. So how I can incorporate the information presented in the podcast was basically, um, you know, in the next few years, you know, Facebook will obviously still be, you know, a very useful and a very profitable tool to market, you know, your own business. But, um, I think diversifying your, you know, social media reach, you know, using Twitter and Instagram and, you know, ads on Snapchat and, you know, all these different things, YouTube even, um, I think that's how you could, you know, really get the most reach to, you know, the certain particular clientele that you're, that you're trying to, you know, reach out to. So, um, that's definitely one thing that stuck out to me from the podcast and, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this discussion.